Hello everyone and thank you once again for joining me in my shed of radio, radio control goodness. Okay, got something a little bit different for you today. This is a electronic microscope. Um, if like me you're into electric flight, quadcopters and that sort of thing, you also will have to or even enjoy a bit of soldering and electronic gadgetry. I've got this um, in addition to this set of magnifying glasses. Uh, this is for primarily for watch repair or so they say but I find them very useful for finding faults or minute errors on circuit boards. Right so let's open this up see what we get in the box. I'll put it together and I'll briefly go through the functions of the microscope. Okay, so everything is now unpacked from the box and we're looking at uh, the total contents of it. Okay, we start off with the USB lead. Uh, you use this for charging. It comes with this Chinese plug. However, Banggood will supply, uh, supply you with a UK adapter. Um, the other good feature about this is if the battery does, the internal battery does run flat while you're using this, you can charge and use it at the same time. The instructions are all very clear. And it shows you the different functions you can use with, with this microscope. Okay, right, let's turn it on. And it's a DM1 microscope from, I believe, it's a company called YH Tech. And you can get these from Banggood or other places. We're going to have a quick look at this circuit board. It's actually a flight controller from a Sima X8, which had an untimely death. But uh, <coughs> there we go. It'll make a good. It make a good subject. We'll briefly go through the menu, and you can see you have all your standard functions that you would normally get. Press menu again. You can go into your settings. Okay, come press menu again, and you can go back onto your main screen. This button here will increase the zoom up to four times. This will take it back out of zoom. Right, we have two recording functions, believe it or not, with this. At the moment, it's set up to record video onto micro SD. However, if you used to change the mode, you can also take a photograph, which again will record to micro SD. In order to take a video or a video, you just need to press your button there. I don't know if you can see there that that's flashing indicating that's recording video okay so I will need to go in the menu and take out the I think it's the light fill it's called fill light there we go we we'll press OK on that I want to turn that off come out of menu and we're back onto the main screen you will need to supply your own micro SD memory card. Um, I've got a four gigabyte in there, which will be more than enough for what I need to use. This rotation switch here, this is for your amount of light that you, you wish to use. Uh, this rotation switch here is for your focus. Okay, so let's, we'll take this Sima X8C circuit board and we'll try and focus on the center processing chip and see if it's got anything just, oh, there we go there's a and on there you can just about see some very small writing it may be upside down so let's just move that around there we go. Now, I couldn't see that with my eyes. Uh, even with glasses, I would probably have a problem. So, let's adjust the light and just see if we can make this a bit better. I 
Okay, so at the moment we're in video mode. I'm going to take a photograph. And there we go. We've had a, just taking a little photograph there. Um, you will need to be very, very steady and hold the unit whilst you're taking a photograph. As you can see, it w it's not super stable. Okay, so we change the mode and we can quickly change take a video and I don't know if you can see there that we have a LED red light flashing indicating the video is currently underway um, you have different settings, you can use 1080p, I believe there's 720p or VGA. And to stop the video, you press the OK button once again. All that now is saved to the uh, your, uh, not USB memory stick, the SD micro SD card. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Not everyone, not for everyone, but I, I think this would be very useful if you want to go through an electronic circuit board and see, for instance, where a track may be faulty, or you might have some faulty soldering. All in all, for the price I paid for it, it's I think it's well worth it. It's an excellent value. So. Uh, a uh, very short video, but uh, thank you very much indeed for watching, and uh, I'll catch you again soon. Cheerio.